And this is us safety checking the area before we start shooting. Like Jardine I says, you'd see a dust of plume if a motorcycle or somebody was down there. I don't see anybody. All clear? I think we're good. Okay, cool. I shot at the range for accuracy the other day and it was fine. Okay. So shoot it as fast as you can, Jardine. See what happens. Tear it up. That sucks. That's not the hammer spring right there. That's nope. a double feed, bro. Yep. yep. Failure to eject. Would you agree? Yes. Oh, dang it. Finish her off? Yeah. Let's see what happens. So we had one failure in that one. Mm -hmm. Pop another mag in there. Okay. Let's come up here just a little bit. That's a little disappointing. And like at the range, like I said, it was 100%. But when you start rapid firing, get the heat going, I think that's a real test of a DI gun. Okay, go through the whole mag as fast as you can. Yeah. Placement upper from the factory CMMG. Well, that sucks. So, think about what we've rolled out by getting another upper, though. Any gas block issues, right? Because this is something, this is a completely really new assembly. Completely Double different. check from the factory before they send it to us. Got a video of that. Uh, yeah. That sucks, dude. It sucks. Shake it. Shake and bake. Got it. Um, let me just... Yeah. Is it in there? Dang, son. I mean, I don't see how replacing the trigger would have helped it. This is not trigger stuff. Nah. Uh, trigger's not the issue. It's something in the upper. So, new upper, new bolt. New everything on top. <laughs> but, this I is like know. going the extra mile, too. I didn't even want to spend time doing this. But as a favor to CMMG, I was like, alright, we'll see. Sometimes I'll do it if they're cool. You want to try it again? Just yeah, shoot it? a little bit slower to see what's up. Okay. So that's a Magpul magazine too. As I recollect though, it happened with all, all the mags we tried, correct? Yes, we had uh, Tapco, Magpul, some Bulgarian mag you had. Dude, Jeez. that sucks. Ooh, that's in there too. Look at that. Is it wedged hard? It's in there. You might have to pile dry that sucker. Look at that. Oh, geez, dude. There we go, it came out. Wow. Need a multi-tool. <laughs> question of the day, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's always the question, Jardine. Jeez. 
By the way, this was lubricated all the way before I, I took the bolt completely apart, lubed it with Slip 2000. Everywhere that needs lubrication, I lubricated it. That's a great magazine too, dude. Yeah, Magpul mag. You gonna pop some out of a Bulgarian clear? Let's try that one. Okay. I'll I got it. Watch this run 100%. But like we said earlier, if it's magazine finicky, I ain't interested. Would you be? Yeah, they should run, they should run anything. It, yeah. I mean, an AK runs everything, right? It should be as good as an AK, a good AK variant rifle. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, it doesn't seem under gas to me at all. Seems like the gas system's doing what it's supposed to. But here, here's the thing, and guys get super confused about this all the time when we post a video like this, is they'll weigh in, and we're naturally problem solvers as guys, right? We wanna fix sure. stuff. I understand that. But we're not here to fix something, we're here to evaluate something that's brand new out of the box. Right? That's right. So if I get like a RAS 47 from Sentry Arms and it shoots everything with no jams at all, which it did, or the freaking uh, Zestava M70 NPAP. Remember those dust clouds you said we'd see? Right there. Then, then you know, this should do it too. I agree. Brought a shovel. Bury it out. <laughs> uh, uh, we can't even point. run and gun with it, dude. No, can we? No. I mean, not if and it's it. Fail. I shot it at the range, and it, it did fine. I didn't have any jams at the range. But what I tell you when we met up today, it's like if it if it's going to jam, what? Oh, it's going to do it out here. It's going to do it. Today. There's a curse out here yeah. in the desert. Yeah, I think you're right. I, I, I don't know what it is. I, I love it actually because it kind of reveals weaknesses. <laughs> it does. That's disappointing. Yeah, yeah so this is 100%. posting like three weeks after our initial shoot. Yeah. And and now I think I'll go live with that uh when we po when we ran it against the RAS 47. Okay. Because I you know I was giving it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we had a lemon. Uh, it happens with pretty much every gun manufacturer. That'll be a good comparison for people to see. I mean they'll see it live. Got frogs out here? I think that it was that motorcycle <laughs> backfiring. <laughs> He better, he better check his oil mixture. <laughs> it's a two-stroke. <laughs> okay. So. Well, that's funny, but the reliability problems we're having ain't so funny. Not so funny. So, did you buy the gun? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. But if guys roll hey, in and said, well, you did something to create this situation, again, what's the response? Come out, come out and watch us. Watch the video, you'll see it, you'll see it right here. So we put an entirely new upper on. That, Completely. That eliminated a lot of possibilities. Completely. I, I'm suspecting a buffer spring buffer problem at this point, but whatever, man. You know, and I, I hear guys are reliable with theirs, a lot of them, uh, uh, but they'll have an occasional jam. Mostly reliable is what I hear. I've That's, I ain't bringing that to the tabletop. I'll bring what I've found out to the tabletop. Look, my take on this is that the idea of this is awesome. That's an awesome gun. We both agree. The gun is awesome to hold it. It's light. Yeah, uh, we love ARs. And, oh, man, it is, it is an awesome gun. The idea is awesome. But if it's not going to run, I mean, who wants to? I don't even know what do these things go for. Twelve hundred bucks. Oh, more than that. Fifteen hundred. I come on, man. I think like fifteen-ish or something. Yeah, I'd just do an AK. If you got to have the seven-six-two, a thirty-nine round, I would just do an AK over this. Pop a few Unless, more and see if it jams again. We'll end the video with that. Okay. So we're actually running uh, a variety of ammo, Wolf, uh, brass. We could. Red Army. Where's that 20 rounder? I'll load up some wolf. Okay. Ah, screw it. It should be reliable with everything, man. 20 
rounder. That's a 20. Okay. Wow. Well, Jeez. Just extra effort. I'll load up uh, some wolfage. Yeah, just like magazines, though, it shouldn't be ammo specific either. Okay, let's try it. Let her rip, tater chip. Come on, CMMG mutant. It doesn't matter if it runs reliably now or not. We've kind of kind of already established a baseline. Okay, here we go. Better. Hmm. So it liked to steal a lot better. Let's load up a couple more steels, I guess. Wow. Steel cased. And I hate how there's no bolt hold open to... Yeah. It's just double feed. Yeah, that was steel case. Should tighten that up a little bit more, I'm thinking. I guess we better. <laughs> well, there you have it. That's a second time out for the Mutant CMMG. Sadly, it didn't go so great either. I don't know what else to do. I'm not, I don't have time or interest to experiment with springs and buffers and all that stuff. No. I'm not doing that. No, it should run reliable out of the box. Yeah. And they've had a second chance, so too bad. Roger that. Let's go into testing the suppressor of the X95. That'll be a separate video. Out.